Dengue fever is a, a virus that is spread by the bite of an infected mosquito. There's something between 50 million and 100 million cases around the world every year. Symptoms can be anything from quite mild flu-like symptoms to very severe symptoms of bleeding and, uh, and feeling in your body that your, your bones are really breaking and it's nicknamed breakbone fever for that very reason. But it can be very frightening for people um, and the more severe forms of dengue fever, dengue shock syndrome and hem hemorrhagic fever can be fatal. All dengue control at the moment is focused on trying to control the mosquito. There's no therapeutic drugs, there's no prophylactic drugs, there's no vaccine. So there's a very wide agreement that that's the way to go, that controlling the mosquito is the only current thing that you could do to try to control the disease. Here at Oxitec, fundamentally, we are working with a technology that allows us to cause uh, death in the offspring of the next generation. And this is something that we can do with a number of different insect species. So we can produce, for example, uh, males of a species that when they mate with females in the wild, there will be no uh, viable offspring. And by doing that, we can actually bring a population of target insects down over time in, a, in an area. Effectively, it's birth control for insects. We're trying to produce genetically engineered sterile male insects to go and mate with the wild females and, and thereby suppress the population. By releasing sterile males of one particular species, we're targeting that one species and not any of the other 3,500 uh, species of mosquitoes. So we're going just for the one that causes the problem. The dengue mosquito, Aedes aegypti, is native to part of Africa and it's been inadvertently spread around the world by human activity, by globalization and trade and so on. And so you would not expect such an invasive alien species to be a, a key part of the native ecosystem. What you have to do is you have to look at what are the risks and what are the benefits. And it's not our judgment that counts, actually it's the regulators in a particular country. In every single case, everything we do, it's safety first and step by step. So we are totally convinced um, there is no practical risk in our approach. Um, but what we do is we work with the regulators to actually take them through it and make sure that they are comfortable that there aren't any risks. We do a huge amount of laboratory testing, computer modelling, that kind of thing. So we do a lot of what you'd call contained use things. So in a, in a laboratory like this, in fact, these are uh, you know, experimental cages of one sort or another where we're testing various attributes of the mosquitoes. The key aspect is that the gene that we're releasing kills the mosquitoes. And if you imagine a defective version of it that doesn't kill the mosquitoes, it will still weaken them or at least provide them with no advantage. So there's nothing in the construct that could provide any kind of advantage. So we do not use antibiotic resistance genes, insecticide resistance genes. So I don't think from an environmental perspective, you know, release of insects carrying those kinds of, of genes would be attractive at all, so we don't do that. I think what inspires us here at Oxtech is that we think we've got something that has, will have a really major impact, both in public health and agriculture. I mean, if you've got 50 to 100 million people a year getting dengue fever and several thousands dying, the idea that we as a company based in Oxford, quite a small company, with a singular idea, can actually have a major impact on that, that is completely inspiring.